and welcome back to flexible games where we are playing vintage story and uh yeah we are making progress i have done a ton of work a ton of mining and it's just a massive amount trying to get us ready to the next stage so yeah i've got a bunch more mass molds so i've got two mass ingots and five mass plates and i've made a nice collection of materials for us uh going forward so um i did make some iron up and we're probably going to need a couple more batches of iron before before we get deep into say qp tech which uses a massive amount of steel um, but yeah, that th this is enough to get us started. And is this nice, colorful? This is bismuth, and this is why when I was like, "Hey, I like you know bismuth stuff," because you can actually make um, things out of bismuth. So one of them is the craftable chandelier mod, <clears throat> or the I guess craftable chandelier is what it is. It's part of my random things mod, um, and I made one of the options bismuth because yeah, it's it's glorious you can uh you can get those like that you could there's there's a bunch of other colors um you can make metal fences also part of my um random things so metal fences are nice if you need fences near uh let's say lava if you need fences near lava or fire these are nice because they don't burn um if you if you place a fire pit or any sort of fire source or lava next to you know a wooden structure it's gonna be set on fire it's it's just guaranteed um, and so yeah we've got a bunch of tin bronze um, a bunch of copper iron and some bismuth as well as some silver and silver is nice for lanterns um, for the linings of lanterns that's pretty much what I use silver for a little bit of gold left and uh, something to report I made a thing down here um so yeah we have a little basement and we have a little cellar for our food uh, everything is moved over from our old base so we've we're officially moved in here and uh yeah this this little area in here took me many thousands of construction paste to to build all of this i, th I think it would have been easier to actually build this out of brick than it would have been used for construction pace so i think my construction pace ratios are actually pretty good um so yeah we've got uh, a little bit of food left over and you know we can we can cook with it and we've got some juice you know i can come down here and uh munch on some juice um and get my fruit rating up right get that get that fruit rating up a little bit higher before we start Ooh, that's another empty crock um not sure what i want to do with these what do I want to do with these? I think I've been putting them upstairs. So yeah, we got the cellar done. Um, and we got a nice little smelting area here. And yeah, I think uh, I think we're pretty set. The other thing I'd like to cover is, uh, you know, I've done, I've done a metric ton of exploration. Just a massive amount. And there's something over in this area that I want to cover. Um, because yeah, I've done a lot of exploration. I think, uh, no, it wasn't down this way. No, it wasn't down this way. Nope, there it was. Yep, it was down this way. Um, yeah, aged wooden bed. This is the only way, this is the only way to get one of these. And I just happened to have one right over the top of my new home. How about that? So aged wooden bed lets you sleep nine and a half hours. Um, so yeah, if we if we look at beds, right, the hay bed, what you start with, only lets you sleep seven hours. The bed, the new bed, the wooden bed I have lets you sleep eight and a half hours, and then the aged nine and a half hours. It just allows you to go to bed earlier um, and uh, sort of burn your way through winter a little bit faster. You know. Uh, and we got some vintage beef. Why not? Sure. And uh, the tapestry, I don't know 
how much we're going to get out of that. Oh, it looks like we got a couple pieces of it back. And then the aged wood, this is also the only way to get aged wood. Now, I'm actually not sure of any mods that allows you to age wood. Obviously, um, if you wanted to, you could. But the problem is, how would you age it and not just kill the... Uh, the game process and have because the, the only way to age it would be to have the block actually tick right and um that would be bad if you're if you have the block ticking imagine thousands and thousands of blocks all ticking that would not be a good situation um so i don't know what order these things go in that looks good Okay, I'm not sure what they're supposed to represent, but uh, yeah, it's it's a little map. Um, and we got a little bit of andesite. So, many more things to report. Uh, we, I have found a ton of, uh, of good materials. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this wooden bed with me. Um, as far as wood goes, right? We have pine. Let's put it in some pine. Um... I've found a ton of materials. Like I've had to go far and wide, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna gloss over the fact that uh, I'm not gonna run for hours and hours and hours on end to try to find things, uh, because a lot of what we needed to find are located specifically in certain rock formations. So if we go way over here, you can see I went down there. I, I bounced over here. There's some black coal. And I started searching here, and I was like, you know, the rock types, even these several hundred blocks, the rocks don't change. So I bounced way down here, and I found exactly what I was looking for. Diamonds. Yes, sir, diamonds. Um, you need to find, if you're using my same mods, now... Diamonds and vanilla only appear in kimberlite, but I added them to appear in basalt. But that only applies if the basalt goes deep enough, right? Because they only spawn a little deeper. Sometimes you find basalt on the surface, and that's not deep enough. You need to go where it's where it goes, you know, beyond halfway down to mantle. And uh, lo and behold, I happened to find it. The other thing I did is added a new mod. I added a couple mods, actually. One of them I made. Um, and that adds crude oil. Yes, doesn't have a use at the moment. But crude oil is in the game now. And it's part of the generating. It, it's in. It's basically generates with all of the other ores so um and it only only generates in um sedimentary that's the word sedimentary rock so you need to also go deep enough for this so finding finding crude oil um can be a challenge because you need to have areas where the sedimentary rock goes deep enough to actually spawn and so i i just wanted to find some because you know i just i kind of like verifying that my mod actually works <laughs> um and so yeah i started over here shale because shale is a sedimentary rock and i just started looking all over the place couldn't find it and so i just started bouncing around um there's just pure granite which is not sedimentary and then I started looking, and I was like, oh, man, I'm just not being any any luck. And then, bam, I bounced up here, and we had a huge mix of sedimentary rocks over here. And I, I struck oil. I, I'll admit, there is a metric ton of oil under this area. I mean, this, this like, whole area, this whole area has got oil in it. Um, so it can be hard to find. But once you find it, you probably won't need to find it again, because um, it it can be hard to find. You have to be you have to be in the right circumstances to find it. And oil was the precursor 
to you know other things i want to i want to make i want to make a sort of a thermal-esque or a, maybe immersive engineering-esque game or mod and i needed i needed some fuel source other than coal in the game you know something to refine something you know something to apply power and that will lead to other other good things so here's our farm i've also moved our pigs over so we have our pigs and i i took advantage of the fact that this water under here um, is frozen, right? So this is solid ice because it's winter, and this is where they were, and I just pathed a, a, a fence line over to here, put a feeding trough over there, and just allowed them to walk that path. This is really the only way that you can do it. I'm sure there are mods out there that add other ways to do it, but, uh, you know, I, it was fine. They walked right over the lake ice and right over there, and, uh, yeah. Um, this little guy, Straw Dummy, um, this guy uh, is for when the bees go crazy because they, like they like to attack things, and, uh, yeah, having a Straw Dummy around allows them to attack the Straw Dummy instead of me. And I did harvest all the honey, right? But uh, except for these, this one here and this one there, um, but they don't spread in the winter time, so I've been really trying to burn through um, the winter the winter months here because there's not a lot we can do. Uh, I did find a I, I did find a bug. Um, the stairs when they get snow on them, the snow is actually not the color of snow; it's the color of the stairs. So that, that's a little bug that I found because if you can see, there's a little lip right there, right? There's a little lip, and if you break the stair right and then replace it it's flat again right so i have a little bug i'm gonna i'm gonna post um let the developer know it's a minor i'm not worried about it it's a minor thing uh the other thing i'm gonna want to do as soon as the snow starts disappearing i'm gonna want to replace all the grass blocks in here with a path so uh we don't get rabbits spawning in there and path is pretty easy to do um it's basically any any soil and some and some stone but it takes a metric ton of stone right for for each so yeah it's a lot of stone we have we have an ample amount of stone the other thing i found as i as i mentioned before when i went way over i don't even remember where it was there it is you know i'm, I'm gonna want to uh pin this just like that so it, it appears as a dot right there right um i found diamonds and they're in here somewhere i don't even remember there they are i found diamonds and emeralds and even some peridot like we I, it's all the gems but diamonds diamonds were my number one thing i found some diamonds uh because diamonds they lead to all of the things um if we hit h on these actually can i hit like shift h no maybe not diamonds so rough diamonds you can see uh they are needed in the temporal anomalies which we could possibly maybe even make now um except we don't have steel right we don't have any steel so that's bad so we can't make those yet but diamond takes steel pickaxe uses diamond so it's steel pickaxe so we need to get into steel asap that is our next massive goal um and then the world eater is the glory that is this thing it's so hard to get to so expensive but it'll be so worth it it's gonna be so worth it i'm so excited um all right so we want to get into steel how do we get into steel well we're gonna need to set up quite a bit of things in order to try to get to steel um steel is a whole process um, and if you're in vanilla, you know the iron process, right? You get the iron bloom, and then you have to hammer it out to make the iron ingot. And that's so tedious because of how much iron we are going to go through that I just, you know, I made it smeltable in in these because, yeah, I, I wanted, I, I need a lot of iron because steel itself is a complex system. It's, it's so complex. Um... So what we're going to do is we are going to get some stuff going here. 
Uh, we're gonna let's put these away. I'm gonna grab that. I'm gonna put some of these in here. So one of the first things that we're gonna do is uh, create. We're gonna create a coke oven door, and this will help make some coke. Because one of the things I also found, if we go to minerals, I found some black coal. Now you can turn either black coal or brown coal into coke. Black coal gives you more. You put 12, no, let's see. I think you put, what do you put, 16 in? I think you put 16 in and you get 12 out. Brown coal, you only get eight out. So brown coal is not as, not as lucrative, right? So um, what we're gonna try to do, and just in case, I'm gonna grab my iron hammer here. I'm not sure which hammer we're gonna need. Um, but yeah, we wanna make a, a Coke oven door. Uh, we should already have some bricks somewhere around here. There's there's some more. So fire clay brick we can actually use to make a Coke oven. And that is, uh, is you know, is one step closer. Um, cause one of the things I would like is some Coke so I could make some, um, better armor. Once we, once we get steel, steel is, uh, steel is the linchpin to so much more tech, um, that I, I really want to get into steel, but you know, early game, it's going to take us a week just to get there. Um, we want a Coke oven door. And then we're going to need that second plate, and we're just going to plop that. Oh, what what just happened? Iron anvil, coke oven door. There we go. So this, uh, let's go up. No. So you can see I used plates instead of ingots. Just way better, right? Just way better. And we'll get a lot of these metal bits back. I have that anvil recovery mod, and that is what enables you to get all these metal bits back. Oink, there's the Coke oven. A light temporal storm is approaching. Oh my goodness. Oh, C. Oh, Q. There we go. I keep forgetting my magnets on. I should edit that and make a hotkey. I, 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 I'm resisting a hotkey, though, just because. I'm just, I just resist a hotkey. Um, okay, so what do we want are some bricks. Uh, let's grab a couple of these. We're going to need like, let's see, 9, 18, 19, 20, 21, 23 bricks. I think we're going to need some mortar as well. And I know mortar is around here somewhere. Good lord, what did I do with my mortar? I am so out of organization right now. There it is. So, mortar, I do believe we need, yep, we need mortar. So, we're going to wrap this around. So, 24 should do it. I think. Maybe, possibly. What we're going to do is we're going to carve out a little spot. So... Here's how you make a coke oven. What you do is you grab. So that is that is uh, the side that you want facing it, and then you just wrap. Leave the middle completely empty. Oh, really, really, really. Interesting. Interesting. There we go. So that <clears throat> gets me a coke oven. 
And then what you do is you take this and you just plop it right in that lock space and you have a Coke oven door. And that is a Coke oven. So what you do is you grab some of your black coal and you shift click it in there. So yeah, 16 black coal. And then you light it. Ah, oh, no, no, no. Shift click it, there you go. Once it's lit, you close the door. And you know that it's working, of course, if there are smoke particles, or you can actually hear it too. You can see the smoke particles, right? Do not open that door until those particles are gone or you don't hear anything. Um, it takes a while, right? It takes a while. But uh, that will give us some, some cold coke, which in my mod set is far superior in terms of combustion than, um, you know, I'm gonna leave the mortar in with bricks. I think that's a good idea. I'm gonna put my magnet back on. Okay. Eat me some eat me some vintage beef. Who knows how long that's been down there. Um yeah, this this setup not ideal, but we are gonna go with it. Alright, so we need an axe. We need a hammer. We might need a chisel. Um chisel. We definitely need an a saw. <clears throat> And one of the things that uh, you might have noticed is I also made a crafting table mod. Yes, sir. I made a crafting table mod. Something so superfluous because, you know, we, we are walking around with crafting tables, right? Um, why make a crafting table mod? Um, I did so to learn. Um, basically... It's a, it's a new block, it's a new block entity, it's a crafting table, it has its own GUI. Like, that was a whole lot of things that I didn't know how to do. <clears throat> and yeah, uh, so where is my, where is my, do I not have a, uh, let's see, ingot, copper ingot. I think my recipe is broke. I think my recipe is broke. Um, I do. The fancy recipe. Uh, that's a bug. I'm gonna. I'm gonna need to fix that. So rather than do that, um, we're going to maybe make an oak one. Yeah. Well. Well. The, it's yeah. The recipe coming up. I must have made something, uh, I must have made something wrong with that, because, uh, um, yeah, that, that should have not have broken. Um, so I'm a little concerned that I put that mod out without actually looking up, like, what happened. So this is the basic crafting table, right? This is just your generalized, you know, low-budget crafting table. But it's got its own GUI. Look at that. It's glorious. You can do this, and you can bring up the handbook, and you can have your inventory up, and you can just have all of the crafting going on because what we're going to make... Um, actually, let's close that, close that. We are going to need flax and linen. One, two, three, four, five of those. I have been slowly building up all the things. We're going to need some sticks. We are going to need some logs, some planks. We are going to need some fat and some resin. All the things. Like I said, this is a massive amount of crafting that we're going to be doing. And uh, that's one of the reasons I like to have the crafting table. Because uh, what you can do is you can put stuff in it, right? You can put stuff in it um, and hammers will float. But, you know, don't worry about that. Um, I'm thinking that is over there. Why? Okay, let's get something that's not bad. 
I think I don't have the rotation on this. So let me look at this. Yeah, see, this is all backwards. So I don't have the uh, orientation of the grid orienting right with this, but whatever. It is what it is. But you can see it. You can see the things, you know, on the crafting table. Right. That actually lines up really perfectly. Look at that. It's glorious. Um, and then you can walk away. You can close this, walk away, and it keeps it on there, right? So if you're in the middle of crafting something, uh, or you can hit the X, and that, that'll, you know, that'll give you all the stuff, stuff and things back as well. And you can click on the crafting table to open and close it, just like a, just like a chest. Anyway, pretty proud of all the features that this thing can do. Um, but what we want, um, I think we have all the things that we need. Um, what we are going to want is a windmill rotor right in here. And yes, we do need the chisel. Uh, did I grab that? I did, I did grab the chisel. So chisel, fat, resin, log, hammer gives us one of these. All right. Um, and then we're going to want sails. Well, let's, yeah, let's clear that. Um, we're going to do this and this and this. And where's my linen? This and this. One, two, three, four, five. It's a lot of sticks. There's nothing, though. We're going to be, we're going to, going to be, going to be going through so many sticks. So then we want some gears. So we want, there's, here's the... Oh yeah, my uh, uh, my crafting for some reason one of the bugs is you can't you can't click and drag stuff in here, um, and I I literally have messaged the developer and asked like what am I doing wrong I've I've gone over the code a hundred times and I still can't figure out why it's not doing that so one two three four you can see how much durability all this stuff uses right so it's not not ideal um i actually want a few more of these um um we are probably gonna need more oh we got some sticks here let's put the sticks one two three four so we have two of those um and we want to go back and go angled gears so there's a whole bunch more stuff right this is why I've been collecting as much resin as I've found now. Um, and then we want stick, stick, and chisel. Oh, we got the chisel there already. And log, and fat. And then I want some more sticks. This is why I wanted to use the crafting table. So I could walk away from this and come back, and we can just you know, pop in some more sticks. Because we're gonna be we're gonna be needing a lot, quite a lot of gears. So uh, make yourself quite a few. And now uh, you can see we can't craft anymore because this thing is out of durability, right? The saw is out of durability. So we need our backup saw because this is this is actually using a lot of our durability off of these. Um, that's eight. There's eight more. And with with gears, we can make transmission. There's, there's quite a few things. But um, we are going to need axles. And this, ooh, do we know? I don't think we're going to have enough fat. Oh, we get two at, two at the same time. There's 16, there's 32, 48, that's, that's an okay amount. We have a brake, toggle, um, large wooden gear. We're gonna need uh, to use, let me clear all of that. Let's use the rest of our durability on this. How 
How much you own? One, two, three. Bingo. All right. So that that gives us more boards. And we want this, which we take. We take those large gear sections that we made before. One, two, three, four. And we put a couple axles in there. And one and two. These don't stack. So you need, you need a lot of inventory space. Don't get me wrong. You need a lot of inventory space. All right. So that is quite a lot of things. Um, we're going to need a pulverizer toggle. Uh, we want an axle, and um, let's go with a tin bronze plate. It's probably the cheapest. Uh, this is why I made so many of the things. Oh, not G, H. Um, toggle, pulverizer toggle. So this is this and the hammer and the chisel where is that at where's my chisel there it is chisel and an axle so one of those right um we are going to need a toggle no not a toggle that is for the helve hammer um, let's get the pulverizer pounder. We need two of these. Again, they don't stack. And we're, we're getting a little low, but uh, that's okay. Pulverizer frame, um, is going to use a whole lot of boards, like a whole lot of boards. Wow. Do we have enough? We have just enough. Um, and then we need the saw. And any old rock? Nope, not any old rock. Uh, we need... Like just something, some sort of stone, and then you gives me pulverizer frame. Glorious. Um, all right, now how are we going to set this up? Well, there's a there's a early game setup and there's a late game setup. I'm going to actually try to marry the two together, um, and we're going to go with more or less an early game setup mixed with a late game setup because that's how we are going to roll here. Um, so what we want to do is we want to give ourselves some space. So this this area here is probably not going to be the floor um, for the area above. It's just I, I, need, I need some height here. I don't want to get so squishy. So I think what we're going to want to do is we are going to want to set up the pull or the uh, the thing right here. We're going to take that away. This is going to be a large a large one, right? That's going to be a large one. Um, and then we're going to want an axle coming out here. Now, you can put this really at any height right you can you can do any height but the higher you go the more consistent and strong the wind is so honestly I like in the early game as early as possible actually to get these as high as possible but not always not always able to do that because uh, we're limited right now by fat So yeah, there's a lot of height left here, and ooh, this is all this stuff fell down, which is why I have my handy dandy. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's a there's a temporal storm. I, I completely forgot that this was happening. 
So I added a mod. Um, I added a mod that prevents them from throwing stuff because I was getting, I was getting so tired of them throwing stuff at me at every turn. But now it's, I just can't get hit with these guys. Ooh, a double head. Oh man. Yeah, he almost one hits you. The double headed guy, brutal. Oh, you dropped a diamond. Nice. Um, so I'm going to be putting out the new version of the flexible tools, which enables um, drifters to just drop their loot instead of having to harvest them. Uh, because it gets really tedious when you have to harvest them, especially in these these situations. Hey, is this done? No, see, you can see. Still smoking. Ow. Man, these guys are going to kill me again. I really want to get some better... really want to get some better armor. Or some armor. <laughs> Suppose. Getting armor in general would be helpful. Getting my cathedral in here would be nice too. That That's such a nice um, arena to actually do battle with these guys. Right, is there anybody in here? Um, so we're just about at the limit here of the of the episode. And I did not expect... I wanted to get all this up and running. But... Honestly, all this is going to be... Oh, snap. That guy almost killed me. Um, I also uh, rebalanced the, the drops. So you should get a little bit more flax twine out of these guys. I think I'm going to go on an on a, on a animal safari here. Go down south and kill a bunch of elephants. Because I need more fat. <laughs> I haven't been uh, doing a lot of animal farming, and so my fat supplies are very, very limited. Yeah, so this is, this is a light temporal storm. Like, all the distortion that you see, right? I mean, it's nighttime, so it's, it is hard to see. But stuff is, stuff is lightly distorted, you know. Um, heavy temporal storms are, are just next level. Oh, there's another. Oh man. How, sir? Is that another double? Wow, those guys are so rare. And they're tough too. They take two hits from this thing. This uber sword that I have. This is why I have the uber sword, people. This is why I have it. I'm so close to death, it's just not even funny. And now I hear... Oh man, there's a rift right there! Yeah, even, even as OP as I am, I can still easily die from this. Easily, easily die. OP sword, I can fly. Like, even with all of that, these guys can still take me out. So, you can imagine how hard it would be without all this, without all these nice toys. Anyway. Ooh. Oh man, another one of these double-headed guys. Look at that! Glorious! So yeah, these uh, double-headed guys give you diamonds, almost a guaranteed diamond drop. Not not 100% guaranteed, but you get a pretty high percentage chance of getting a diamond. Um, because I wanted an alternate way of, uh, of giving people diamonds. Um, in case you couldn't find them. I, you know, I, the, the, the tools that I made, you know, the steel axes and the world eater and all that kind of stuff, um, you know, it takes a lot of work to get to those, and I wanted I wanted that barrier adventure to be a little bit easier. Okay, so I think we're going to be waning here in a second. 
Um, so yeah, uh, we will we will get back to this automation um, next episode, and you know hopefully it'll be daytime and uh, no storm. So anyway, that's gonna do it for this episode, and I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.